this video, we will write the delete operation for the new administration of the site. So back in ColdFusion Builder, I will return to the admin folder to open the news.cfm file. And I will also return to my components folder to open the news service.cfc component. Now back to the news.cfm page, I will run it in the browser. And if you have made it up to this point, the news.cfm file should display a list of all the news present in the database along with two links. You have the edit this news link and that opens a form that contains the current data of the chosen news and you can use that form to update the news. Now I will return to the main news page of the administration by clicking here on that news button. And there is a second link, which is delete this news. And this is the link that we will activate in this video. So let's return to ColdFusion Builder. And just after the CF admin custom tag here, I will need to write some JavaScript. So I need the script tag of HTML. And inside of that script tag, this is where I write some JavaScript. I need to write a JavaScript function. The name of that JavaScript function is confirm delete. And this function takes one argument, which is the news ID argument, the number of the news that you want to delete. Now in the body of that function, I will need a if, and I will also need for that if an else clause like that. And in the condition of the if, I will need another JavaScript method, which is the window.confirm method of JavaScript. Now, window.confirm will display an alert to the user, an alert with two buttons, an OK button and a cancel button. If the user clicks on OK, the confirm method returns true, and the code that we will write in the first part of the if will execute. If the user clicks on the cancel button, then the confirm method returns false and the code that we will write in the else clause of the if will execute instead. In the argument of the confirm method here, I need to specify the question that I want to ask to the user. And the question is, are you sure you want to delete this news like that? Now, if the user clicks on OK, I will use the window.location.href property of JavaScript, which is the JavaScript equivalent, if you will, of the CF location tag, to send the user to CF training slash admin slash news.cfm. And I will pass along the delete parameter in the URL and I will make it equal to the news ID that has been sent as an argument of that confirm delete method. So that is when the user clicks on OK. When the user clicks on the cancel button of the confirm box, then nothing should happen and nothing in JavaScript is null. Nothing happens here. So that's for the confirm delete method in JavaScript. Now I should execute that method when the user clicks on delete this news. So first, let's make this a link with the a tag of HTML. And the href of that link should execute a JavaScript like that. And we should execute the confirm delete method that we just wrote in JavaScript and pass the FLD news ID, the ID number of the news to the confirm delete JavaScript method. So let's save the news.cfm page and let's test it out. So I browse that page, you see that the delete this news is now a link. If I click on that link, you see that there is an alert box coming with two buttons, cancel and OK. If I click on cancel, nothing happens. And if I click on OK, then I am relocated to the news.cfm page with that delete parameter. And the value of that delete parameter is equal to the ID number of the news that I want to delete. So let's return now to Call Fusion Builder, and I will return at the very top of that page to delete 
the news if the url.delete parameter is present in the URL scope. So I will use here a CF if with the struct key exists function of call fusion to check in the URL scope if the delete variable is present. And if it is present, I use CF set to execute the application dot new service component and inside of that component I need the delete news method and I want to use the URL dot delete parameter as the argument of that method. Now let's take a look at that method in the new service dot CFC component. It's a very small method. It's right here. You see that it does not return any data. The return type is void. The execution of that method is reserved to the administrators, roles equal administrator. And here is the delete query. So I delete something from the news table and I add a where clause to specify what is the record that I want to delete in that table. If I omit the where clause, I would delete all the news from the news table, which is obviously not what you want. So let's return to news.cfm to perform the final test. If I click on delete this news and then OK, you see that the news disappears from the table because it has been deleted from the database. You can now perform all four CRUD operations in the news section of the site in the next PDF file and the name of that PDF file is now displayed on your screen. You will do the exact same thing with the agenda section and perform all four CRUD operations on the events that are present in the database.